wives Cody and Robin have bought a new mansion worth $2 million. Cody and Robin are the most opportunistic people in Sister Wives. Everyone knows how the former considers the latter his favorite wife. Due to this, he mistreated Mary, Janelle, and Christine to no bounds, and they parted ways. Amidst all this, Cody also began to suffer a setback in his marriage with Robin. They also began to struggle financially. Due to this, they attempted to sell their Flagstaff home. Since then, Cody and Robin have struggled yet again, because their house was on the market for the longest time. They even had to slash the prices in hopes of selling their property quickly. But it looks like everything worked in their favor. Rumor has it that the couple has become homeowners of a new $2 million mansion. Its price is more than that of their previous house. It's been a while since Cody and Robin made headlines. So, it was a shock for Sister Wives fans to find out they wanted to sell their Flagstaff home. The couple bought the place in 2019 when the family had moved to Arizona. Robin, with her five kids, stayed there with Cody, also joining them permanently during the COVID era. But after the family fallout, they began taking measures. Mary, Janelle, and Christine were earning members of the family apart from Cody. They would put a part of their income into the family pot for the entire family. But the polygamist and Robin got the upper hand in this situation. But when the family fallout happened, they began to struggle financially as the three spouses weren't contributing anymore. So they resorted to selling their house. Fans thought they might be downsizing and may shift to a less expensive home. But they were wrong. Cody and Robin Brown have recently become homeowners for a $2 million mansion. As per a Reddit post, the couple made the purchase on 24 October 2024. It is spread across 7,784 square feet with six bedrooms and 6.5 bathrooms. The parking space is huge with up to seven car storage and an RV in the front. The kitchen is lavish too, with two islands, ovens, and dishwashers. There is also a three-car garage, and the place is positioned on top of 2.56 acres. The landscaped front entrance and fenced backyard also add to the home. Some additional commodities include a gorgeous paver patio, tranquil pond with a large custom waterfall, natural gas hookups for a grill and fire pit, etc. Another interesting feature of the mansion is that the smart upgrades can be controlled from a smartphone to many Sister Wives fans were curious. That's because Cody and Robin seem to be struggling in terms of finances. Christine's daughter Gwen had also said the couple has a spending addiction. Could it mean that they bought a house which is more than they can handle? Tell us in the Cody Brown's recent legal battle has raised many questions in the minds of viewers of Sister Wives. He is battling in court with Christine Woolley over the custody and child support of their shared daughter, Truly. That is when fans learned Cody's name wasn't on the Star Kids birth certificate. This was a shock for the entire fan base, and they wondered if the same thing happened to others as well. What is this all about? Is Cody's name not there on his 18 kids birth certificate if this is true? Then what is the reason behind it to learn some shocking details that would leave you in disbelief? Sister Wives star Christine Woolley recently dragged Cody Brown to court. She wants the latter to pay child support for their shared daughter, Truly, who isn't 18 yet. The celeb asked the court to make Cody take the paternity test as his name wasn't on the star kid certificate in place of her father, this is all because of their spiritual marriage. Cody and Christine never got legally married and were always in a spiritual union. They further wanted to keep their polygamous dynamics under wraps due to the strict laws against plural marriage. Hence, the entire Brown family relocated just to save themselves and continue the legacy. That is why Christine never listed Cody's name on Truly's birth certificate. So, does this mean that he isn't mentioned in his other? Kids certificates as well Sister Wives star Cody Brown might be on the birth certificate as the father for some of his kids. Fans believe that Mary's only child, Leon, perhaps would be lucky enough to have that honor. This is because when the star kid was born, Cody wasn't in any polygamous relationship and Mary was his legal wife. Hence, the patriarch would have probably given his name during Leon's birth. On the other hand, Robin's kids might also have Cody's name on their birth certificates. This is because he is legally married to the latter, and Ariella was born two years after his divorce from Mary. Hence, the celeb wouldn't have any issues getting his name on her birth certificate. In the case of Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna, David Preston Jessup ended up relinquishing his paternal rights to these kids, 
and Cody got a chance to step in. Cody adopted the three kids Robin had from her previous marriage and gave his brown surname to them. Hence, he got their paternal rights after David was out of the dynamics. However, when it comes to Christine and Janelle's children, viewers aren't sure if Cody is in the picture. These have always been Cody's spiritual wives, and they have never had a legal union with him. So, there is a fair chance that all of Christine and Janelle's children don't have Cody's names on their birth certificates. Fans are now waiting for these two to open up about the same and reveal the truth. How did Sister Wives star, Cody Brown, manage to purchase his lavish and pricey new mansion? He and his wife, Robin Brown had listed their Flagstaff home for $1.6 million. Then, they took it off the market only to buy another home, which cost over $2 million, but how for more details? Cody Brown moved his whole family to Flagstaff and they bought a large lot of land, Coyote Pass. It was going to take time due to logistics, permits, and paying it off. So his four wives had to find their own homes. Christine Brown Woolley purchased her home while Janelle and Mary Brown opted for rentals. Then, Robin Brown rented, but they had to purchase the place for nearly $900,000. It was the best option for the family of seven with the time frame that they had. Ultimately, the OG three wives left the family with Christine selling her home and moving to Utah. Janelle has rented and now owns a farm in North Carolina with her daughter and son-in-law while Mary has her B&B &B in Utah. Coyote Pass is up in the air as no one wants it so Robin and Cody decided to sell their Flagstaff mansion out of the blue. It was listed for $1.6 million and fans believe they did this to pay back the OG3. Then, they took it down and now, the couple has bought a home for $2.1 million. It is spacious and gorgeous, with a guest house in the back as well as a treehouse. Cody had asked my Kelty Brown Padron about buying her a large home in Flagstaff but she declined. They are not on speaking terms currently. So how did he afford this excessive purchase according to a Reddit thread? They did it under Whitestone Trust. This means that the home is held in a trust and they can live there but it is somewhat protected. Holding property in a trust is a perfectly sensible legal method of ownership. A trust has a trustee, one or more named individuals who manage the assets held by the trust, can be real property, bank accounts, securities for the benefit of those who will ultimately inherit. The beneficiaries, by passing assets via a trust, inheritance is achieved much more quickly and automatically, and probate, which is the legal process of proving the validity of a will is bypassed. If the trust is revocable, it can be changed at any time by the testator, the person who creates the trust, it becomes irrevocable when the testator dies, and at that point, nothing can be changed. It's not a scheme to hide money. Taxes on trust assets are attributed to the testator. Many fans questioned if Robin and Cody Brown could afford $2 million or if they were hiding assets from the OG3. Janelle Brown had pointed out how Cody's assets were in paintings and random items. It appears this is to protect Robin's kids and only them. They're going to go bankrupt. He's stupid with money. Robin has secured her estate and her children's inheritance. This was the plan all along. Kudos to her. Let's see if she keeps Cody around for suits and giggles. Are you shocked at how they were able to get this home? But do you feel the rug will be pulled out from under Cody and Robin sooner rather than later?